So guys, EA have given us the warm-up for Team of the Season. I'm going to be honest, I found this out yesterday. I was a little bit disappointed. I thought we were going to be getting Team of the Season. And today, of course, with the community release, followed by uh, the Premier League next week. But it has been delayed uh, for a week. So we do have this warm-up series. I don't know if some um, nominee cards are being put into packs. I'm not too sure. But we're going to test out the Encore Foundations pack. Five players in this pack, one of which is guaranteed to be a Team of the Year Honorable Mentions. Future Stars, Road to the Final for any of the European uh, competitions or a fantasy foot player or a world cup heroes player or a world cup icons or fantasy foot heroes player so you could potentially get something absolutely insane or you could very likely get something dreadful um plus one prime icon lone player pick between three different players so let's have a look at the probabilities now there is a premium version of this as well um, where you get two of them and, and they're guaranteed to be 86 or higher and I believe it's all the exact same players so not too bad but we're just going to test out the foundations pack here for 750 people points so uh, team of the week player I don't even think it's included in this but anyway 5.9% uh, World Cup hero at 10% I'm trying to think what they were oh yeah I remember what they were now there's been so many different cards released since then uh, so World Cup icon is 2.4 uh, honorable mentions 4%, 32% chance at a future stars player, uh, UCL at 8.2, uh, Europa League at 5.8, Conference at 2%, Fantasy Foot at 31, and a Fantasy Foot Heroes at under 1%. So you could get an icon, but it was only World Cup icons, wasn't it? Let's see what we can get. What's the most recent of all those promos? It's the uh, Fantasy Foss, isn't it, I think? Th th there was nothing for Fort Birthday, I don't think. Let's see if we can get something good. This has the potential to be a very, very good pack. It is going to be a Future Stars. I think that was the most likely one that we were going to get. Striker? Do you know what? Nkessia isn't too bad. I don't think he'll go for that much at this stage of the game. I I've got to be honest. I mean, he does provide, obviously, great links, um, which is obviously pretty good. He's he has got a decent card. Inform Pavard as well, obviously, in the packs. So that was obviously pretty cool. I don't think you're guaranteed to get a team of the week, but that's pretty nice for the fodder. Does uh, Nketi go for much? You, you know what? Not too bad. About like 70, 80,000 coins. Most 89s um, sell for what? About 40,000? Maybe less than that. Maybe like 35,000. So it's not like he's a dead 89. If he was a dead 89, he'd go for the exact same price as what a gold Kimmich would go for. And I'm pretty certain a gold Kimmich doesn't sell for over 70,000 coins. Uh, so that's obviously not too bad. He's got a few decent stats, obviously, to him as well. Um, only three-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. Obviously, when this card came out, I think he was a good few hundred thousand coins. He would have been a great pull, but obviously, you know, a few months have passed since then, and the power curve has upped significantly. And the best use of him right now at this stage of the game is, first of all, he probably isn't going to get a higher rate of cards than this one for the rest of the game cycle because he won't get anything for team of the season. I don't think he will anyway. Um, and also, he provides really good links at the same time. And we're going to get a lot of Arsenal team of the season players. So, um, obviously, that's what's kind of keeping his value there, to be honest. But not too bad. I will actually do the prime icon player pick as well. Before we finish off, it's going to have to be Socrates, isn't it? 91 rated. Um, but there we go, guys. There was my Encore Foundations pack. I'm pretty happy with it, to be fair. Let me know if you opened it and what you got in your pack. Uh, actually, before we finish, we'll open the Energizer pack real quickly because they brought that back at 10 coins. And I think it's three players that you get in the pack. Can we hit a promo? I'm wondering if they've put... With this warm-up series, have they put a lot of the best of players from all the promos that we've had so far into packs? I think they might have. So could we hit one of those players in this pack? Otherwise, I don't know why they've given it to us. There must be some sort of special promo cards in the packs um, from, from you know, previous... Uh, all 82s in that pack there as well from all previous promos that we have had. We'll have a quick look, actually, just to see if that's what they have done. So team of the season warm-up about getting packs ready. Uh, daily uh, SBC to get a team of the season player. Oh no, it doesn't look like there isn't any special players in packs. The only way it looks like to be able to get them is through those special promo packs, uh, unless they're just not advertising it here on the screen. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.